God, no! Guys, we're losing to a chicken man! <laughs> I like that intro. Welcome back to another episode of Retro Mini Games, the new retro series where I, Gaming J, am playing through mini games that exist in classic retro games. So these could be actual mini games, they could be bonus levels, they could be hidden stages, special stages, what have you. It's a broad definition of uh, mini games, uh, but today we're going to be playing Earthworm Jim. And we're not going to be playing the actual game, we're going to be playing the minigame. And the minigame I have lined up for us is Andy Asteroids. It is a bonus level that exists between most of the main levels of the game. So here you can see the computer showcasing Earthworm Jim in case you've never heard of it. It's actually a pretty cool and zany game from the 90s. Um, but I think for our, our purposes we should just uh, cut right to it and get started with this uh, minigame. I like how they belch Earthworm Jim. That is so disgusting, yet so appropriate somehow. So we're going to be relying on a little cheat code here today, which is the level select code in Earthworm Jim. How this code works is after you've paused the game, you hold left and press A, then you press BBA, then you hold right and press A and press BBA. Cheater. You'll be called a cheater, and you'll be able to see the dev team. And then, lo and behold, you'll have access to all the levels in the game. And so, as I say, we're going to be skipping right to the mini games, which are these Asteroid games. Now, there's actually nine of them, and or actually, sorry, seven of them, and they're a little seizure-inducing. So here's my plan for today. Let's try out a couple of these, and then there are a few other levels in Earthworm Jim that I think we could broadly classify as mini games, or at least we'll call them breaks. We'll try out one or two of those levels, come back and play a little more Asteroids. But today we'll be primarily focused on this Asteroids level. And off to the races we go. Handy Asteroids? Question mark? I like how the game doesn't even know if that's the l the name of this uh, level. They're like, is this Andy Asteroids or isn't it? Uh, so in Andy Asteroids, you play as Earthworm Jim strapped to a rocket and you're chasing Chicken Man here. And the idea is to collect these blue balls and not hit asteroids. And it's not actually too difficult of a mini game um, from... I've just pl been playing around with it a little bit before today. Oh, get out of here, chicken boy. Okay, I say it's not that hard of a minigame as the chicken... Oh, no, he took my speed boost. As we are now officially losing to the chicken. Uh, but yeah, it's a very, very basic premise. You just sort of float around the screen and uh, try and outrace a space chicken. I don't know why we're racing a chicken. I don't know how that fits into uh, Earthworm Jim Lord. Damn, I'm screwing up. This doesn't bode well, people, because uh, Andy Asteroids here gets progressively harder the farther in the game you go. So we're actually playing the easiest Andy Asteroids at the moment. Um, I also have no idea what these blue balls do. Maybe someone in the comments can fill me in, or maybe I'll figure it out by the end of today's video. Oh god, seizure inducing time! I hope nobody's light sensitive. Anyway, we got 37 blue balls there, two electro thingies. And we are inappropriately riding that rocket while we last through ourselves. Because uh, Earthworm Jim is the gym. The body, the human body, is actually not his. It's a robot suit. Groovy! And we are indeed groovy. And so that is basically Andy Asteroids. Now, as I say, Andy Asteroids gets a little harder as you do the higher up ones. So let's try another one here and see how this goes. Andy Asteroids, anyone? And off we go chasing the chicken. I don't know why we have hillbilly music in space either. I this level confounds me in so many on so many different levels. Why are we racing a chicken? Did we agree to this race or is it an impromptu race that's happening? Is this Andy is the chicken named Andy? Again, the game doesn't even seem to know. Andy Asteroids question mark is the name of this level. Uh, why didn't the developers know? What's the backstory here? I'm so curious. Also, it sounds like Jim yells Stella when he gets the uh, speed boost, but I'm pretty sure that's not what he's yelling. Again, the blue balls, no idea what these these do or what these mean. Um, but we're going to collect them because they seem to be power-ups of some kind, or they at least don't hurt us, so we'll take it. Um, I, By the way, I, I didn't know that that chicken could get those speed boosts. I just discovered that in the first level that we just played. 
So actually, I guess leaving speed boosts behind is one way that you could lose to the chicken. Because if he's trailing behind you and you leave a lot of speed boosts behind, then he'll just pick them up and catch up. Boom, seizure time, seizure reducing time. Wow, that's so easy. It's so easy. I kind of want these to be a bit harder. Um, as I say, they will get harder, but... Now, if you do lose to the chicken, you do have to fight him. So I think before today's over, we should lose to the chicken at least once. But let's try one more Andy Asteroids, and then we'll check out one of the other levels that uh, I sort of scouted out ahead of time that I thought could count as a retro uh, minigame of some kind. Or at least a sort of a break from the Andy Asteroids. All right, on to Andy Asteroids level three. It's interesting how they really don't differentiate any of the Andy Asteroids. It's not like Andy Asteroids 1 or Andy Asteroids 2. It's just the same. It's uh, The levels are just called Andy Asteroids. The exact same thing. I don't know. It, it's like this kind of reminds me of the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 bonus stage. Except that, oh, you can turn on the electrical power. Okay, we've learned something new. Does this help me break through rocks? Oh, it totally does. Oh, but only one rock. Oh, no. Chicken Man's chase, uh, cat, uh, beating us. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. Um, but yes, this reminds me of the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 bonus level because it's sort of similar to this in that you were like racing in a tube. Crap. And, uh, oh my god, I'm doing so bad now. Electrify. Um, but you're racing in like a, a like a tube and you're trying to get uh, rings and stuff in the Sonic bonus level. And it's very similar to this. And that was also on the Sega Genesis. So there you go. I mean, I always think of Earthworm Jim as a Sega Genesis game, but I know it was on like Super Nintendo and stuff too. Let's ram this chicken from behind. Give him what for. Come on, chicken boy. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no, we're oh, no, we're right near the end. Oh, we don't have time to be messing up like this. No, chicken man. All right, well, I said we wanted to let the chicken guy beat us. So this is what happens when the chicken man beats you. You actually have to go fight him. Sort of an interesting... It's like you, you decided to play a game of cards with somebody, and if you win at the game of cards, you win. And if you lose, then you get in a fist fight. That's basically what's happening here. Um, so what you're supposed to do is shoot the chicken and then, like, whip him with your face. And that's basically how you get him. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not rocket science. It's pretty simple. And, oh, God. Ugh, there we go. I don't, I don't know how many hits he takes. But we'll figure it out. Uh, oh, I only have 5% health left, actually. Come on, chicken boy. Get out of here. Oh, we beat him. All right, is that was that a secret bonus minigame? Uh, the boss level at the end of Andy Asteroids? I don't know. All right, so... Here's a little respite from uh, Andy Asteroids. This is called the pod levels. Oh God, I'm doing so bad at this too. Uh, this is basically an underwater uh, level. Wait, why can't I connect up to this? Oh God, I'm gonna suffocate. Okay, there we go. So basically in this level of Earthworm Jim, now this actually kind of reminds me of the Ninja Turtles uh, underwater level from the NES game, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But in this level in Earthworm Jim, you're going underground in this, like, uh, bubble pod thingy. And you only have so much oxygen and so much time. And if you mess up your pod too much, you see how there's little cracks in my pod? It's because I've smashed it into the, the rock a little bit. So if you smash it into the rock too many times, your pod explodes and you die. I don't know if I would consider this a minigame. And actually, here's an interesting question I want to pose to you guys. We're watching uh, my series. So this is the second episode of Retro Minigames. There's many other minigames to come. I have a huge list already. Uh, some some good suggestions already, actually. Even after just posting that one Street Fighter video, um, some people gave me suggestions, uh, you know, like on Twitter and stuff. But uh, yeah, good suggestions so far for other games to add to my list. So I have lots of minigames to play. I have no shortage of retro minigames to try. But here's an interesting question. Like, where do you draw the line at what is a minigame? Um, I have broadly kind of in my own mind been considering sort of bonus levels. Like, I mean, there's obviously clear minigames, you know, like in, uh, in, oh God, my, my thing's getting so cracked. This is actually really bad. I might die. It's okay if we don't pass this level. This is just for fun anyway. Um, but clearly there are some things that are definitively mini games, you know, like uh, like in Mystical Ninja, somebody was telling me um, that there are carnival games you, your character can play. So those are clearly mini games. 
Um, is this a mini game? Probably it wouldn't necessarily come up. Ah, oh, damn it! For most people, I kind of want to give that one more shot. Let's give that one more shot. Uh, since uh, we are taking a little break from Andy Asteroids, um, how do I do this? Oh, I just jump up here. There we go. Um, yes, probably people would consider this just sort of a, an interesting one-off level. Um, but in my broad definition for retro minigames, I'm kind of thinking, like, there are some levels that are clear minigames, but then there's other levels that are, like, hidden stages or bonus stages. You know, like the car smashing stage in Street Fighter 2, was that a minigame or was that a special stage? It was, it was kind of a bonus level, um, but it's different from the majority of the, the gameplay in the game. So I, I consider it a minigame in so much as it is... Uh, you know, outside the bounds of the normal, normal gameplay. Um, and that's why I think like this level, this bubble level, you know, ar arguably we sat down today to play Andy Asteroids and that's what we're doing. We're going to get back to it. But does this also count as a mini game? Is this another mini game with an Earthworm Jim? Maybe, you know, it depends on your definition of mini game. So, so we're going to have a very loose definition of mini game in this uh, retro series uh, moving forward. Uh, but I just want to kind of put that question out to you guys. Like, what do you guys think is a minigame? Um, because definitely I am looking for suggestions. Oh my god, stop! Oh, oh, stop! Okay, we gotta, like, start slowing down and just literally try and not die. Look at this thing! I can't believe my bubble isn't, like, leaking, uh... Leaking water right now. There's so many cracks. Like, the pressure of the ocean. Oh god, okay, we're dead. All right, well, this this is an interesting little distraction. It's cool that they have a level like this in Earthworm Jim, but I think we should return to our primary purpose today, which, of course, was some Andy Asteroids. Okay, we've done three Andy Asteroids. Let's try Andy Asteroids level four. So again, these are not all the same Andy Asteroids level. They are different from one another. Um, the rocks are in different places. As far as I know, the rocks are not randomized. They're in predictable places. Um, you just get more rocks in the higher levels. Um, actually, that's a question somebody in the comments could could answer probably for us. Are the rocks randomly generated? Are they randomly placed? Or is it, uh, you know, predictable uh, for each asteroid level? Because this is Andy Asteroids 4, I think I selected. Um, and that's different from the first Andy Asteroids. Oh, we missed a laser shield. Crap, I don't want to fight this stupid, uh, stupid bird again. What happens if you lose the the fight l like lose the race and you lose the boss fight against the chicken do you actually lose that would be one a rare instance where you could lose at a bonus level which is something that rarely seems to be possible i mean at bonus levels you can usually fail but the whole point of a bonus level is it doesn't cost you any lives or anything i am hard pressed to think of too many examples where if you fail at a bonus level like you actually lose a life but if i lose the race and then I also don't beat this guy? Crap. <laughs> then, uh, what happens? I guess I lose a life. Oh, come on, we're so close. Oh, he's, I can see him. That little bastard. All right, let's fight him one more time. Again, just to mix it up. Uh, I don't want to give you guys seizures with those, like, flashing blue lights in that space tunnel. All right, Psycho. Let's do this. Earthworm Jim doesn't run away from a fight, man. Um, oh, he tried to hit me with a, with a thingy, the hook. There we go. We spanked him. We spanked him good. Oh, he killed us. Okay, this answers my question. Do you do you lose a life? Oh, we actually lost a life on a bonus level. You don't see that very much in games. Okay, there we go. I think the problem is that uh, I'm having to like figure out the Earthworm Jim buttons every time I fight this guy because I'm not actually playing the main game. So I'm like, wait, which button is to jump? Boom. Oh, we got him this time. Why did I have so little health health last time? Maybe I died. Maybe maybe every time you hit a rock in the bonus level, it takes some health away or something? Oh, stop firing hooks at me, bro. That ain't cool. Where are ya? Where are ya? Where is he? Yeah, I had I did not have full health when I went to fight this guy initially. <laughs> Yeehaw! Why is, why is the crow some kind of, like, space hillbilly? All right, Asteroid 6. No, Asteroid 5. I can count. I guess we are going to get through all the Andy Asteroids levels. I mean, they're super short. They're super short. I guess I thought they were longer in my mind. 
Um, I never, like, I have played Earthworm Jim a couple times in my life, but it's not a game like I owned back in the day. Oh, he's picking up the speed boost now. He's getting good. This is not good for us. He's also taking all our blue balls because I don't see any, man. This chicken's cramping my style. Stop taking the speed boost. Oh, no, how do we, how do we beat him now? He got smart, guys. Our adversary got smart. Oh, but he missed this one. Yeah. I think we oh, bumped him into that electrical shield, though, which is, he can probably use. Right, this would be like if you had to race Tails in the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 bonus level, which actually would be kind of cool, maybe. Ugh, get out of my way. Oh, we bumped him. Yeah, and we turboed. We turboed out of there. Oh, we're turboing again. When you turbo, you seem to be invincible briefly. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, victory. Victory. Yeah, so level's not that hard at all, really. It is such an interesting, like... <laughs> what What do we get for that level? I don't know. Do the blue balls give you anything? They must be, like, worth points or continues or extra lives or something. Ruby. There must be a point to it is what I'm saying. I have no idea what the point is, though. All right, now we're going to Asteroid 6. And after Asteroid 6, we'll take another brief break... And then we'll come back, and I guess we will play the seventh asteroid, so there you go. Andy Asteroids. Game's still not sure. Who is Andy? It's basically just like you're flying through an asteroid belt. The chicken may or may not be called Andy. Who knows what's happening in the context of uh, the game. Oh my god, there's asteroids everywhere. I have to concentrate on this one. But can I bump him into asteroids? No, he just went right through that one. Oh, that's, that's nonsense. This would actually be kind of cool if, um, if you could bump the, the chicken into the asteroids and, like, make him crash. That would actually be kind of fun. We can't do that. Well, we can activate our shields to protect us. And now, of course, we don't hit any asteroids. Oh, now we... <laughs> where's my shield? Oh, that sucks. I'm actually... I'm trying real hard here. Oh, God. No. Get back here, chicken man. Oh, here we go. There's our chance. Neck in neck. Oh, he's bumping us. Oh, no. <laughs> Chicken man. I can't believe how dense this race is getting. Oh, come on. We got this. Give me a speed boost. Give me a speed boost. Or just let me pass him through skill. Crap. Oh, this is it. Unless there's a speed boost, we lost. We lost. Oh, we're right there. I can taste his chickeny butt. All right, let's fight him again. Why not? The fights don't even take that long. So I hit, like, what, three or four asteroids? So I'm apparently not going to have 100% health. Let's see how much health I actually have. We're, <laughs> we're slowly figuring out how the Earthworm Gym uh, bonus level works. Okay, so we have 50% health. Boom! Die, chicken boy! Alright. Yeah. Uh, it, it sucks when you stun him and he's so high up and you can't even whip him. Like, like, look at that! How am I supposed to... <laughs> I guess you just have to, like, not stun him when he's at... I Look, he's going, like, way out of rage. What is this? Does he get harder? Does it get harder to fight him on the higher bonus levels? Oh my god, I can't... I can't whip this guy. Get over here! He's totally gonna kill us. He's totally gonna kill us. Okay. I don't know, he's like just off the screen now. I think I've hit this guy like once. And he killed us. Alright, twice we have failed at a bonus level. That is crazy. Okay, I got him once. Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> it's actually really hard to like line your whips up in this sometimes. Huh. Huh. And you can't whip him unless he's stunned. Oh, come on! Jim jumps so high. There we go. We got him again. Are right, you going down, chicken boy. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, I thought I stunned him. Stunned! Die already! It's like the longest bonus level in history. What happens when you run out of bullets? I think your gun just shoots a little slower, if I remember my Earthworm Jim gameplay correctly. Yeah, these bonus levels definitely get harder. So, pro tip, don't lose the race on the second last bonus level. 
Yeah, all right, we got him. Intestinal distress, <laughs> gross. Okay, here's one other level I identified that, like, I don't, again, I wouldn't say this meets my classification buttville. <laughs> it wouldn't, doesn't, like, fully meet my class, classification of a minigame, but it is sort of, like, a little different. So, basically, in this level, you have to uh, sort of helicopter down this, like, spiky passage, and if you screw up, that happens, and you die. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I never said I was good at Earthworm Gym. It's not like we're necessarily going to get far in this game. That's why we're using uh, cheat codes to get to all the bonus levels. Because if I had to even get to the bonus levels legit, this would be like a 12-hour process for me to get through all these levels. Oh my god! Oh, we did it! Alright, that was another minigame, I guess. Helicoptering down Spike Canyon. What do you guys think? Oh, Jim did a victory pose there. He showed off his underwear. All right, is it time? Is it time that we, for us to engage in the last Andy Asteroids bonus level of Earthworm Jim? I think so. All right, Asteroids level seven. Let's see how hard this crow gets. My goal is to beat him in the race because I don't want to have to actually fight him. We fought him enough. I just want to actually beat him. Oh my god. <laughs> he he stunned me by taking that power up that I wanted. And uh, now everything is just falling apart. I hit an asteroid because I thought there'd be a power up there. He tricked me. He tricked me. What a what a jerk. These asteroids everywhere. All right, here we go. Here's here's where we catch up. Oh, and there he is right there. Hello, Mr. Chicken Boy! Oh, we electrified him off the screen! That's how you do it! That's what the, uh, shield is good for. Okay, I, I tried to shield my way into that bonus speed thing on the far right, but I missed it. Okay, we're doing okay. Man, I really have to concentrate here. I, I'm impressed that the bonus games get this tricky, actually. Like, it's such a simple... Mechanic just sliding left and right on the screen. Oh my god. Oh, yes yeah, speed boost <laughs> Although you don't want to come speed boosting out into a pile of asteroids. That would be no good. Oh, we won <laughs> We beat the the chicken boy on the last most difficult and the asteroids I'll take that as a win. I'm, I'm putting that one in the win column. Yeah, you ride that rocket earthworm Jim You've earned it We got our sweet victory music too and that's, that's basically as groovy as we're going to get here today, guys. So this has been the bonus level, the Andy Asteroids bonus level. <laughs> we're back in Budville. This has been the Andy Asteroids bonus level in retro minigames. So as I say, for retro minigames, this is a new series that uh, I am, I'm going to carry forward with. And the idea is to play minigames, side levels, hidden worlds, bonus stages, special stages. I don't know. What's your definition of a minigame? Again, clearly there are some things in, in games that you would clearly say, yes, that is a minigame. But where does like a bonus stage land for you? I'm counting it as a minigame broadly in my definition. But would you have counted Andy Asteroids as a minigame? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you have reasons why you would or wouldn't. Uh, whatever the case may be, sound off in the comments down below. And did you like this this look at Earthworm Jim and the minigames? And do you have your own uh, video games with minigames that you would like to recommend to me? Man, there's so many questions I'm asking of you guys. You'll have to each write me a paragraph down below. Um, I look forward to reading all your awesome comments. Um, but in the meantime... Whether you agree that Andy Asteroids is a minigame or not, hopefully today has been entertaining for you. If it has, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And peace. No! Chicken man, 